All right, so what we got right here is a very large single wide mobile home. But what is super cool about this one, this is one, like, let me let me just say, let me get it out. This is one of those houses I know y'all are gonna love. I know it should do really well on the channel because it's just so unique, it's so special. Uh, and I feel like when I tour these types of homes, they just do very well. But anyways, we'll, we're gonna get into it. We're at Tide Factory Direct. This is at Georgetown, Texas, okay? I've already toured some of these extremely large homes right here. But this one right here is, well, it's big for a single section home. But what's great about it is it's only two bedroom and we have this porch. Now, I'm actually thinking I may use the thumbnail of that one since this pole's right here. I don't know. We'll see. That's a different, that's a smaller one. We'll just have to see how it looks. But anyways, if that is the case, just so you know, that is a different model up there. So you know what that means? If you're in the area, you got to stop by and check them out so you can see what that one looks like. Ease on down through here, give you a good shot. I'm gonna try to get some drone shots for y'all as usual. We got the metal roof on this one. Uh, let's see, uh, we don't have anything off the back, so I'm not gonna go back there. I wanna circle on the other side and show you something over there. And then we're gonna step up on the porch. So yeah, over on this side, we have us another entrance. So that means we have two entryways on this house. Now, that's gonna be great if you have like garage carport, um, I think the way they set these homes up is pretty sweet because you think about that you still got your regular entryway in coming to the kitchens like right there but then that porch man you just have that set up facing maybe the lake or whatever i mean facing the back of your, i mean facing the back of your 50 acres i don't know whatever you have speaking of that porch let's let's step up there and by the way if you do have 50 acres congratulations especially if it's out here in texas they say everything is bigger in texas now i actually just toured some homes in mansfield at their at one of their plants uh, they had a uh, several different models set up uh, they had this right here on some of them as well on the porches i really like that it gives it to me it gives it that just country vibe that i'm so uh, a part of and you know i do love the modern updated stuff as well and that this home definitely offers a lot of that too but i love how they've kind of mixed that in as well you can see our porch is very big you can see we got a lot of room plenty of room for some great rockers rocking chairs if you want to do that let's go ahead and head in i need to do that so i don't take up your whole afternoon y'all don't forget to like the video if you will and subscribe and hit the notification bell let's go What I tell y'all, this is just a part. This house, oh my gosh, I already know this house is gonna kill it here on YouTube. I just know it because I know what y'all look for. I know the types of videos that people really, I mean, okay, I ain't got the algorithm completely figured out by any means, but homes like this that are very unique, this house, I've toured a version of that house. It did great on the channel. Um, I've seen that. Where have I seen that at? I don't know. Anyway. Just these really cool looking homes like this. Y'all absolutely love. But what happens a lot of times, and I know I'm, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be quiet after this. But what happens a lot of times is they're really small. They look really cool in the exterior, kind of like this house right here. That, that square footage is gonna be pretty small. Not the case right here. Not the case in the one we're looking at today. That looks like some of that mosaic 
uh, backsplash that I've seen in other homes in the past as well. We've got stainless steel appliances. We've got these beautiful white tops with uh, gray, gray cabinets. This home has all of the same cabinets, nothing changed up. Here's your Springer faucet with the stainless steel sink. Plus you have a window right there. Maybe that's, maybe your 50 acres is that way. I don't know. Maybe you're sitting in the middle of the 50 acres. So you got acreage all the way around because I mean, you, you got a lot of windows to look at out of too if you're not out there on the porch. Come around this way. I know I gave you just a little shot. Let me show you that again. We got bar stools there, so that's great to see. Not only do we have a very big island, we've got that. If you want to sit there and eat, plus we have this area here. And I know they kind of got it set up just kind of like sit, but you could easily have you a table or something there to eat at as well. Even more cabinetry over this way. I love that we have these cabinets on the end of our kitchen island as well. Now, I just toured those very big homes and they were, they're gonna be some pretty long tours. So I'm gonna try to keep this one a little bit uh, shorter. Tape and textured walls, let's head down this way. What a beautiful little area that we have right here. You know what, this would be a good cabinet to open. Yep, I just was curious. We've got these uh, right here that you can adjust up and down wherever you'd like to put them. Look at this. <laughs> this is the guest bath. Okay, now y'all believe in me? Are you believing me now? You're finally like, okay, he wasn't hyping this one up. He's like, well, he, every one of them's his favorite. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I know, that's true. I'm not saying you're not right, but I told y'all, I tried to tell you, you gotta start listening to me. Golly. I've toured a number, and I mean really probably hundreds of multi-section, triple-section homes that don't have this in their guest bath. And you get it right here, right now, in this single-section home. Y'all come see them down here tight. Tell them Chance sent you. All right, back out here. There's the there's the side door. Like I was telling you, you kind of walk in, your kitchen's this way. So I think that'd be great. You know another thing? I, I mean, I'm not the manufacturer, so I don't want to speak out of turn here. But if you didn't put that there which i don't see why you would have to but if you didn't then you could put you like some wall hangers maybe put some i was gonna say lockers you kind of got that there but kind of take this out where you could have where you walk in hang your stuff that would also be a nice little feature right there Okay, there's your breaker box. Is this gonna be a storage area or your furnace? Ooh, nice. Yeah, the furnace is right down there. Nice storage area. So you think about that as well right here by your door if you did have your garage there, carport. And it ain't wire racks, let me tell you that. Here we got the spot for the washer and dryer. We've got the hanging rod and a shelf. Furnace is right here. All right, now let me turn around so I can give you a shot of the uh, the main bedroom with a whole nother bath. And uh, let me tell you, the bath down here, well, all right, you're, you're gonna see it, just hang tight. I love those windows you have above your bed, same ceiling fan in here. 
We've got these sliding doors into the closet. Let's see how big our closet is. Now, water heater access behind there. Uh, you know, the closet isn't just huge, but let's keep in mind this is a single section house, okay? So for that, it's nice, definitely nice. Big enough, big enough for, for me to not be like, eh, I don't know about that. All right, here we go. Sink in here, countertops, cabinets and drawers. So this bath actually isn't just that much bigger than the other bath. I, I was just kind of trying to keep y'all hanging in there. But I mean, but I know I was kind of like really, really hyping it up. I mean, it's, I say that it is very nice. It has got... I mean, this right here is what I would typically see in most main bathrooms in a single wide. One like this is gonna have these, you know, really nice ceilings, gonna be a lot of upgrades. But also, I like that, that they're kind of the same. That way, say you were purchasing this home and it was you and maybe a roommate or something, you know, you, you not really gotta fight over the rooms too much and that sort of thing. Now, this room's gonna be a little bit bigger, that's for sure, but both baths are great, is what I'm trying to say. So I told y'all, I tried to warn you, I tried to tell you. I mean, I absolutely love this floor plan. This is not your basic single section home, and it's just a lot of room, beautiful bathrooms. It kinda, it kinda has it all. Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section. Please, please, please share. That would really help me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and drop a like, please. All right, it is time for the outro. A couple things I wanna get into and then I'll be done. I would like to say, okay, this is at Titan Factory Direct in Georgetown, Texas. Uh, I wanna make sure I stress that to y'all. They have several different locations. Titan Factory Direct does. You can check them out online if you would like to. Uh, speaking of, uh, links and stuff we'll have our website link in the description if you want to use that um, we'll have our members area link in there as well so as you can tell this is a two bed two bath and this home is going to be around like 910 square foot i believe what's cool about these homes i've done several that this home is built out of athens texas um you've seen some here on the channel you may not have known it or not but they they build the really small like one bedroom one bath two bedroom one bath this one's a two bed two bath a little bit bigger and so you can do a lot of uh customization on these houses you can tell they're tape and textured really nice um i also wanted to mention that you could potentially get these like 18 wide in certain areas and obviously you can do that in texas here in mississippi you can't you can't have a 18 wide single section home uh, but you can there so just keep all that in mind as well i think the floor plan on this one is great one of the coolest you know if you wanted to say it was just like a one bed one bath it, in it would really be considered like tiny home you know the kitchen and and, and living area it's one of the coolest like tiny home layouts that i've seen obviously this one's a lot bigger than a regular tiny house because it is too bad too bad but just want to put that out there for you let's go ahead and get into estimated retail pricing now there's so many factors that depend on this price i just want to give you some type of idea some type of range and obviously if you get a smaller home then it's going to be cheaper we all know that but this will be for kind of this house right here it's be for at the time of recording and uh yeah right here above us great idea what this house is currently going for Thank you all so much for watching this video. Now, I, Thursday night's tour, the video before this one, I know is a totally different animal. I mean, it's not an animal, it's a house, but <laughs> what I'm saying is it's a huge modular home. So if you're watching this, you may not be into something like that, but I'm telling you, I would say even if you're not into the big houses, you will love this house. If you just scroll back, you'll see that it's red. The exterior is red. Oh my gosh, it is breathtaking. Y'all be sure to watch that video if you haven't. And next video will be Tuesday night. Videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, 645 Central Time. Hope everyone of you have a tremendous weekend. Be sure to spend time with your family. You know, just here recently, I've been hearing a lot of kids in our community that's had a, a ATV accidents, uh, wrecks, and stuff like that. And you just you never know life is is but a vapor so hold them close love on them and i'm gonna do the same i'll see you tuesday night 
See ya.